Well, if you offered me a point before today's game, I certainly would have took it. But, uh, you know, after taking the lead twice and creating a number of efforts on goal, it does feel like a defeat. But, you know, finished Newcastle 2, West Ham 2. Um, a bit of a missed opportunity. Um, albeit, I think, I think the team played um, played pretty well. Um, and, you know, Newcastle weren't at their best today. But, um, you know, they, they took the chances that, um, that they created. Um, Some with the first half. Um, you know what? What a great start it was by by, by West Ham. Um, it certainly took the confidence from uh, the winner against Chelsea midweek. Um, started you know good combinations in midfield, good passing. Um, showed a real purpose and you know starting off on the front foot, which obviously we would have hoped for. But whether the players would have done is another issue. But um, they certainly did that. Took the lead four minutes in. Um, good play by Antonio with four nails on the halfway line. Four nails, great ball to Bone inside the full back. Um, and then Bone with a right foot cross, um, which Lascelles, I think he should have done better. But, you know, Antonio was alive, uh, got to the ball, um, pounced on it, and an uh, emphatic finish into the corner. So, yeah, four or five minutes into the first half. And, uh, yeah, a, a brilliant start for us. Um, but, again... Not for the first time this season. Another league's been given away. Um, before the game, it was twenty-two points we've given away from from winning positions, and you know made that twenty-four now. Um, it was that like ten minutes or so later? Newcastle got their goal, and it was a good play by Newcastle. Good play midfield. It ends up with um, I'm trying to think who uh, the fullback was. Uh, Kraft on the right hand side, and his uh, cross found uh, Almer on who tucked it away well inside the six yard area. But I think from a West Ham point of view. I think as much as it was good play by Newcastle, I think it was avoidable from a West Ham point of view. I think um, you know Lanzini was too far infield trying to win the ball, and that left at Cresswell two on one and exposed on the left hand side. I think Cresswell was close enough um, to the, to the attacker, and then um, I think possibly the cross might have been uh, cut out, but it wasn't. And now we're on, he tugs it away. So um, and then from from that point onwards until. Um, until the first drinks break, Newcastle well on top. Um, John Josh Shelby was getting the ball in midfield, dictating play. Um, and um, every time some Maximin, he got the ball running out of the fence, he was causing problems. So, but we had, we we held firm. Um, you know, didn't concede again, which you know obviously you're not going to be on top for the whole game. But when the opposition is, especially when they're at home, you just got to stick it, stay in the game, stick it. And um, and after the drinks break. We started to uh, get the passing up and running again, um, and uh, they didn't, didn't create a huge amount for the rest of the first half. But you know, they showed a, a bit of confidence, um, obviously from the from the Chelsea game, um, and I feel we were not dominating, but but more in control than, than what Newcastle were. So half time come around one one, um, and. Uh, you know, David Moyes made a couple of subs in the second half. Um, one fairly, fairly early on, about ten minutes in. Lanzini, come off. Uh, Noble was on there. You know, Lanzini was, you know, incredibly anonymous today. Um, and there's a few times in the second half where I think he gave away the ball about four or five times in like two minutes. Um, so it just summed up what a poor game he had, for, um, today. Um, but uh, it, it, for the second half, I mean, we had a, a few chances in. But I think for a Newcastle point of view, I think they. The game was just drifting, and uh, but for, for for West Ham point of view, we didn't quite take advantage of their. It's not like they played badly, but you know Newcastle didn't play as well like they have since the Premier League restart. You know, played well against Sheffield United, and they absolutely demolished Bournemouth um, in their last game. So they weren't quite at that level, and and West Ham, yeah, I think we we were, were, were better. Um, we we're, were better than them. We just didn't also get the win. Um, so uh, we uh, midway through the second half. We took the lead again. Uh, Thomas Suchek uh, with another goal. He's, he's second in, in consecutive games. Uh, the ball come in from a corner. Jared Bone, good, uh, deep cross. Uh, Declan Rice, great header. Front the crossbar. Ended up with Suchek, who um, on the volley with his left foot, a fantastic strike to um, you know change his body shape and then stick it in the corner. Uh, a really, really good goal. Uh, but again, just like the first goal, we, it was even quicker this time. It was like a minute and a half later. Where uh, we conceded again, um, you know, four nails didn't push out, wasn't in line with um, uh, the rest of the defensive line. Um, but even that, there was still space for Joe Linton and, and John Joe Shelby, too much space um, on the edge of our box. Um, you know, Shelby 1 2 with Dwight Gale, and it was a good finish by Shelby. Um, 
you know, I think uh, he's sticking two fingers up to David Sullivan, who said he wasn't good enough. I think, uh, you know, I think he proved a point. I think he played fairly well today. But um, and then that's that's the problem with 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 you know as our season. You know, as I say, it's twenty four points now, give away from winning positions. What do you put that down to? Well, defensive um, deficiencies uh, and individual mistakes. Um, we saw that saw that today. Um, you know, as I said, you know, Lanzini, Cresswell, I think we were fought for the first goal, four nails for the second one. Um and I just don't think didn't feel, I think the whole defence didn't react properly for uh, for Shelby's goal. So um and then that's something that major needs needs to improve. Um always we're never gonna um they start keeping the start keeping these leads. Um, you know, that's something that really needs to be addressed. It's a you know, individual mistakes, so I say, you know, is it a mentality thing I mean, that that completely needs to change? Um and apart from that, I think as as I say, Newcastle played okay, um, but I think they were there for the taking today. Um and it's individual errors that have, have cost us. Um because I didn't really see them scoring, um apart from the errors that we that that we made for them. Um, you know, for you know, Almer had a few efforts from outside the box, but um we we had the ascendancy, we had the chances, um, especially when Yarmolenko come on. Um, you know, he made made a good impact again, didn't get on the score sheet, but he played well again. Good cameo by him, he had a few efforts, so did Sutek, um Suchek, sorry. Um but um I think yeah, I, I feel I was I was encouraged by the performance, absolutely. Um, you know, it would have been nice to obviously get the win, but to uh, get four points this week. Um you know, I I certainly would have took four points from Chelsea and Newcastle, but you know, it was just um you know, just unfortunate we didn't uh you know, didn't get the three points. But you know, at this point could prove vital. And if you don't if you can't win the game, don't lose it. Um so you've got to respect the point. Um and I think yeah, from attacking centre we had so many efforts. I think it was seventeen um yeah, seventeen in total, seven on target. Um if you're doing that, uh you know, playing like that as an away side going to Newcastle who are in good form you can't really complain with that um, I think it's just, as I say it's just the individual mistakes that, that have cost us the three points um, but very highly encouraged today um, uh, I don't think we played as well as we did against Chelsea but it was still a good a good shift of the, a shift the players put in and there was some good um, good quality at times um, but yeah it's just a shame we are uh, didn't hold on and um and get the three points. But uh got a few um favourable fixtures now after this, so we've got to uh gotta make sure we uh you know obviously when we do take take the lead, bloody keep hold of it. Um and uh yeah, I think just to get a couple more wins and, and stay up now. So um missed the opportunity but you know got to respect the point and um hopefully we'll take uh, this sort of momentum from the last two games into our remaining games. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let us know your, your thoughts in the comments. it be nice to read those. Cheers.